Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Allegiance 2020 Manufacturing Day. My name is Whitney, and I'm Reputation Management Leader here at Allegiant. I'm sure it's been said already today, but I want to say it again. We are so excited to have you with us virtually, and I'm even more excited to introduce you to a number of Allegiant employees from our manufacturing sites across the U.S. So let's get started today with introductions. Panelists, I'm going to ask that you each take a minute to introduce yourselves, give us your name, your location, your role, and how long you've been at Allegiant. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Jamel. Uh, so I'm Jamel. Um, I'm currently stationed at Allegiant in the Cincinnati, Ohio location. My position is right now, I'm currently acting as a supervisor, but I'm transferring over to a change agent. I've been with the company for six years. So. Thank you, Jamel. And next up, we have Mylesha. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mylesha, located in Indianapolis, Indiana. I have been with the company for four years. My position is the second shift team leader for the Von Duper mainline. Thank you. Glad you're here with us too, Mylesha. And Carla. Hello, everyone. My name is Carla. Um, I am here in the Security Colorado location. Um, I'm an order management supervisor. Um, I've been with the company for 17 years. Um, I'm proud to say I've had an opportunity to work in multiple departments, so I have been on the factory side as well. Awesome. Thanks, Carla. And Sherry. Hi, I'm Sherry, and I'm at the McKenzie location. Uh, I have I am a pay setter, which is just another term for team leader, and I've been here for 15 years. Thank you, Sherry. And Janelle? Hi, my name is Janelle, and currently I am in the Olathe, Kansas facility, and I am a supply chain leadership development program participant. And I actually just graduated college, so I've only been here for about three months. Awesome. And then we also have Jeannie. Hello. I'm in Princeton, Illinois. I've been with the Legions for two and a half years, and I'm an assembly operator. Awesome. Well, thank you all for taking the time to share your experiences today. We have a lot of great questions for you, so we're going to go ahead and dive in now. I often hear that many of our manufacturing employees actually didn't expect to pursue a career in manufacturing. So if you didn't plan on working in manufacturing, why are you? How did you start? How did you find us? And I'm going to kick this one off with Sherry. I actually was a medical administrative assistant, but I couldn't find a job in our area and I couldn't afford to relocate and I didn't want to travel. So I went to the unemployment office and they told me that Republic Doors was hiring and I applied and I've been here ever since. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us, Terry. And I also wanted to ask my Alicia the same question. If um, you didn't plan on working in manufacturing, how did you start? How did you find a legion? I first heard of a legion through my sister. I was going through hard times and thought I'd apply for a job. I love working with my hands and after finding out that I can do just that, I went in and gave it all, gave it my all. Um, to me, it's like opening a box of surprises. There are so many different things that you can do in uh, manufacturing. One day I'm learning how to do polish. The next thing I'm learning how to do coatings. So it's amazing at the opportunities that I have been learned and been granted. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. I do think that's one of the myths perceptions about working in manufacturing is that you do the same thing over and over and there's not very many opportunities um, to learn when in fact I know in our plants there are a variety of jobs and we have people putting things together, we have people running machines, we have other jobs that people may not think about um, like robot operators and material schedulers, customer service and an enterprise excellence group even. So um, Janelle, I wanted to ask you, can you tell us about your role um, at Allegiant uh, because I think it may be pretty unique and 
and how your role is critical to our manufacturing operations. Yeah, so my role is pretty unique. Every six months, I get to go to a new plant and help support a different business need. So this means that I get to, as you say, like try out different career paths in manufacturing. So each rotation will allow me to make an impact that leads to the success of the overall business. So for example, my current role includes me supporting a large project that we have here. So I get to be on site and plan out a lot of the on site details that go into that project. So without proper execution and planning of the details, the project could fail, thus causing a domino effect across other parts of the business. So therefore, it is very critical that I'm here to ensure that the project is successful. And even though I only have a part in the overall project, it's still an extremely critical role um, to make sure that it's done right. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. And can I ask, sorry, Janelle, um, where you've been, what Allegiant locations you've been to then as a part of that role or where you're moving next? So this is actually my first rotation. I did intern with the company last year and I was uh, helping out with the quality team in Carmel. So I've been in Carmel and then I've been in Olaith. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Um, I also wanted to check in with Jeannie. So Jeannie, um, my question for you is what materials or technology would people be surprised to learn that you work with? I work with three robotic arms. Um, they feed the cylinders into like the ball or um, so different machines and then put it back in a saddle and then it comes over to us for us to um, assemble. But it, I like it because it's, it's fun. It's a fast pace. You can kind of race with the robot. Um, I like the fast pace. Did you expect um, having a career in manufacturing that you'd be working with robotics? <laughs> no, I did not. I tell my grandkids all about it. You know, they they tell me about their robots and stuff, and I tell them, well, I have three special ones, you know, high, high tech ones. So they're like um, dinosaurs, <laughs> which they like, but I, I love it. Yeah, I love to hear that too. I think that's another thing that a lot of people don't think about when they think about manufacturing today just how much technology is involved and how many technological advancements have been made um, especially recently and i know there's a lot of investment going into our princeton facility right now with that too so i think that's really cool you're a part of that um, and something else that people are surprised to learn about Allegiant is that we will pay um, for tuition reimbursement so we pay up to eight thousand dollars a calendar year um, for employees to go back to school if they want to. Uh, so that's my next question. I wanted to ask, are any of you currently using or have you used this tuition reimbursement med, um, benefit? And if so, how, is it, how has this benefit helped you in pursuing your own professional goals? Um, how will it impact your long-term career in manufacturing? Um, and Jamel, I think maybe you're one of those employees who has used it. I am currently taking advantage of the um, tuition reimbursement. Right now, I'm attending Indiana Wesleyan University in Blue Ash, Ohio. Um, the biggest thing about what I got out of the tuition reimbursement and going back to college is, is building a lot of confidence in myself. I'm going, for, I'm going to school for business and I get to understand the different view of the business. Also, uh, I won't have a big bill that after graduation. <laughs> um, currently, I receive I see um, received my associates, and in May I will get my bachelor's degree for business. So it, it's been a great experience, and I got a team of 32 people, and three of us are currently taking advantage of this program. So it's a great program to get into. Awesome, thank you for sharing that. And I think, um, Carla, I'd heard that you had either taken part in the tuition reimbursement program before or are currently, so do you have any shared experiences there? Yes, um, I'm actually, um, I actually graduated from Colorado Technical University with my bachelor's degree in business management. Um, it was a very exciting, Point in my life because um, I chose 
business management um, because you get to learn a little bit of every area. You can learn a little bit um, of everything that you would utilize um, in this type of atmosphere. Um, I think it's going to open the doors to learning new things. Um, specifically, um, I started college not exactly knowing what degree to choose. And um, within that same year that I started college, um, I got a team lead position on one of our um, lock assembly lines. And I realized I, I really enjoy working with people. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and pursue my degree where I can continue working with people and helping them develop as well. So I definitely encourage people to take advantage of our tuition reimbursement program. Um, it does definitely open doors. Um, my current position that um, in order management um, requires a degree. So it gave me the qualifications just to apply for the position. Um, and I do think that um, it has a positive impact and will lead to other opportunities within the company. Awesome. Well, I think uh, she's right about that. I know um, I've seen lots of individuals at our manufacturing facilities or met lots of individuals who have taken advantage of it um, and have definitely seen a lot of career growth. Um, so it's really exciting. Thank you both for sharing about that. Um, I also wanted to ask a few of you and Jeannie, I might start with you on this one. What about working at Allegion makes you the proudest? the knowledge and the quality of our product um, and knowing people that are using this in their businesses. Very cool. Jamel, what about you? I will say the thing that made me the most proudest is just the environment. Um, we like a family in here, salary and hourly. We have a great time at work. We all get along. Um, the mentor pro the mentorship program, uh, like I said, I am attending college right now, but I dropped out of school in the ninth grade. And it was and if it wasn't for this type of environment, people wanting to see you succeed and help you out, I would not have went back to college. I had a um my boss actually came to me and told me that I had good qualities and I probably would be good in a supervisor role. And I had a lot of fears about going into this position, but he sat me down and we went over a bunch of my fears and weaknesses and we developed a plan to attack this and we I stuck to the goal and I did it. And that's the main thing that I, I'm proud about with working with a legion, just the family environment. I love that. And I think you have a lot to be proud of in what you just shared with us. So that's really cool. Um, Carla, I'd ask you the same question. What are you proudest about um, working here at Allegiant? Um, actually, interesting enough, um, I dropped out of school in the ninth grade. Um, and uh, when I started working at Allegiant, I was 18 years old. Uh, when I was 21, I decided, you know what, I, I really missed out on my education. I really want to go back to school. I got my um, GED and that same year that I completed my GED, I started college. And I think just being in this atmosphere and like Jamal said, having having support around you, having those supervisors help guide you and motivate you was a big thing. And it made me feel good about myself that even though I, I had dropped out of school, I went back. I went back and um, I started something that was going to help me um, advance. Um, I think working with people is the biggest advantage to, to for me um, because I'm a people person. Uh, but I like getting to know a variety of personalities. Everybody's different. You got to kind of learn to understand different people. Everybody learns differently. Everybody trains differently. And there's so many different cultures within this company. I think that's the, the one thing that makes me most proud is being able to connect with different cultures and different personalities that come from different backgrounds. So that's what makes me proud. <laughs> I love it. And I want to bring Janelle back on too, um, just to ask, 
Janelle, if there was one piece of advice that you um, would have for someone who's getting ready to enter the manufacturing industry, what would that be? So I would say to explore all of the options in the manufacturing industry. So, you know, really meaning learn about all the different parts that you can, you know, understand your strengths, things that you like, and how you can utilize them to be successful within manufacturing. So here at Allegiant, we have a fantastic diverse manufacturing team. And, you know, we have people who are highly skilled at digging deep into 20,000 lines of data to people who have strong creative mindsets and can create insane innovative ideas. All to people who thrive at leading and serving others and helping people and being hands on with problem solving. So there's just so many different kinds of opportunities as everyone here, we all have different, you know, roles within manufacturing. So um, it really is a place to get along and to, you know, try out different things within manufacturing. Awesome. And Sherry, if I asked you that same question, what would your one piece of advice be for someone like the students who are listening, um, if they're wanting to enter the manufacturing industry? Whatever job you choose or career you choose, always do your very best because developing a good work ethics is very beneficial for you and your employer. I love that too, and it reminds me a lot of um, our values here at Allegiant <laughs> um, and across all of our brands. For um, the uh, have a passion for excellence, Sherry. Um, I think it's a lot of what you just mentioned with good work ethic, being excited about what you do. Um, and Mylisha, I wanted to ask you too if you had one piece of advice for someone who was wanting to enter the manufacturing field. What would you say to them? What would that be? I think to sum it all up, I'll have to say to be patient um, off of what Carla was saying, even with people, you know, even with the manufacturing industry, everything changes. People come and go, um, devices come and go and change. So I have to say to be patient. I like that too. And I think um, what you just mentioned with devices coming and going, there's just so much change from an innovation perspective too um that to everyone's point who's been talking about learning and growth there's just always opportunity for that opportunity for patience and taking the time to learn new things um and just really investing in yourself and in your career by doing that so um the last thing then and i want everybody to take a turn answering here is i just want you each to summarize if you could describe today's manufacturing careers or your own manufacturing career in just one word or one phrase, and I know that's probably really hard to do, but what would that one word or that one phrase be? Um, and I'm gonna toss this to uh, Janelle first. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> I would say um, creativity, being creative, and you know, many people wouldn't think necessarily manufacturing and immediately think creativity, but when problems arise or when things change, being able to think creativity is, creatively is a huge benefit. Um, that's something that I've been definitely using in my role here to just think outside the box, solve new problems. So definitely creatively. I love it. And Jeannie, how about you? What would your one word or phrase be and why? Okay, I would say appreciation um, and because it is like a family environment when everybody appreciates each other, when we work together, um, the training, um, the knowledge. I love it. I love working with the people. I like knowing that I can grow and other people can grow also. I love that. Um, and thanks for taking the time today too to do this panel. You shared a lot of amazing insights with us, so thank you. Um, okay, how about uh, Mylisha? What would your one word or phrase be? I will have to say keep climbing. No matter where you go, what position you, you take, it's always going to be a mountain that you're going to have to get over just to reach the top. So keep climbing. And um, Sherry, what would you say? What's your one word or phrase? I would say motivating you because we have all these people here that are over us and they always encourage us to do our very best and strive to uh, advance yourself or help the company in any way that we possibly can that would 
to to better our jobs or better somebody else's job or the um, uh, industry itself. Motivating, I like that a lot. Uh, Carla, how about you? What would you say, Carla? I would say being open-minded and being brave. Um, to me, I feel like um, I developed the skills of being open-minded, um, you know, being open to different people's opinions, de uh, trying out new things, um, and being brave, you know, uh, being brave enough to be on a live video, um, being brave enough to apply for a position that you have to interview, um, being brave enough to um, learn new things. Um, I, that's what I have learned here working with the Legion. Awesome. And Jamel, you get to close us out on this one. What would your one word or phrase be? And no pressure. <laughs> right, no problem. Um, originally, I wanted to say think outside the box, but Janelle said that already. So I'm going to just go with enjoy yourself when you come into this building. Um, get to know the person to the left of you, get to know the person to the right of you, because you're going to be spending a lot of time with them. And if you can enjoy yourself here at work while putting out a quality product on time, it even make you it make you feel good about your about yourself when you come to work. So enjoy your time when you're here. That's all. I think that's actually perfect um, that Janelle stole your answer because uh, you just shared another one of our Legion values, which is celebrate who you are and enjoy what you do. Um, and I think we all do a pretty good job of doing that here at Allegion. Um, so I just want to celebrate you guys right now and say thank you so much for sharing these incredible insights with the students who are listening today. Really appreciate all of you and appreciate all the work that you've been doing as a part of an essential manufacturing industry right now. Um, so thank you for your time.